Seriously? Almost time to get off. This was the most craziest, most hectic night I ever had in my life in a very long time. I'm over it. Hi guys, y'all can finally see my face. So I just got out of the shower, washed my face, I washed my tattoo. It's starting to peel, y'all see that? There you go. See the little, little scaly type things? It's starting to peel now. So I'm about to put some, um, he gave me some ornaments to put on there. It's super dry. It's so dry, so dry. It's nasty, but yeah, I'm gonna put some on the line real quick. They gave me three packs of this vitamin A and D on me to put on it, so I'm about to put some of this on it just like a little bit. I don't want a lot because I don't want it to be everywhere. Like this much, I'm just gonna rub it in and just make it. Well, it's coming off. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all, I'm going to be mad because I like the darkness of my tattoo. Um, you know, whenever you, well, whenever it peels, it's going to be light. I like that. See, so just put a little bit on there. Just to make it. Um... Okay, guys. So, oh, sorry, the toy is blushing. But, okay, so I'm back. My mom called me, so I just got the shower and my hair's still up, so I'm gonna put on some chapstick. And I'm going to, today I'm about to oil my scalp because it's been up for, uh, 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 like a day probably. So I'm about to put some oil on my scalp because my scalp is um, itching. So I'm gonna oil it really well today. Turn off the dryer. <laughs> there you go. Boom. So I have my sheets dry because I'm about to change my sheets on my bed. And um, no, I'm not gonna mess with my ponytail because I don't want to mess it up. I'm just gonna go down like the back of my hair and go down like my lines I got in the back and put some oil in my scalp. So it's right here. I made this oil months and months ago. 
I'm gonna use it. I have more to use too, but I'm gonna just use this for now. Okay, oh, so my mom's birthday is tomorrow, and so we are taking her out for her birthday today, supposedly, but she's already calling saying that she doesn't want to go. So my mom, right, let me tell you how she works. Like, she's her person. Okay, so she wants us to do things for her and celebrate her, but she doesn't want to do what, what we want to do, you know? Like, she wants to do her own thing or whatever, which is fine, you know? And, you know, we don't really do much for her birthday because, you know, we all just always go out to eat for our birthdays or whatever. Um, So my sister, you know, she has, well, she's, she's about to have five kids. So she's so she tries to be cost effective and you know with all of her kids or whatever and you know she has five kids and they all eat different things and they all eat so differently or whatever. So she tries to be cost effective and go places where you know they, they all can eat, you know, off the menu or whatever. So my sister chose Red Zoos, but even though my mom wanted to go to Papa Do's, but my sister and I wouldn't really care for care for Papa Do's, Papa Do's, because we don't really care for it. Like we just don't care for it. So we were like, well, we don't really care for it like that. So we don't really want to eat eat there. So you know, another another close thing to Papa Do's is Red Sue. So that's what we chose to do. And so we called her, and she's like, oh well, I guess so. I'll go there. I'll go there. But so this morning, whenever I was in the car talking to my sister Kara. She called Karen and said that she don't want to go to Papa Do. I'm like, why not? I mean, to um, Razoo's. We're like, why not? You know, you said you said you were gonna go, and like we had made plans to to like do all of this. Um, um, uh, when made plans to do this on um. We made plans to do this. I'm sorry, y'all. We made plans to do this on, I think, Wednesday. So we called her and everything on, on, on Wednesday. And she was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll go. So now it's time to go. And it's it's, 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 it's the day of or whatever. So now she's saying she doesn't want to go. My mom always does that. I understand. If you got, if you got a mom or like that, let me know. So I don't feel like I'm the only parent is like that. Like, she doesn't want to go now because... Of her, whatever reasons she don't want to go. Oh, she said because COVID. And she said that we're going to be close to everybody and la, la, la. Going in restaurants during COVID, they have everybody sitting a table away from everybody. And then on top of that, you have to wear a mask. So you're not even with and close, close by people. Like my mom, she always has to find a reason for her not to go somewhere. But then she talks about us whenever we do, whenever, whenever we do things for other people. You know stuff that we want to do for her and we call her and then she'll be like oh i don't want to go i don't want to do that and then she wants to get mad whenever we don't you know treat her how we treat everybody else or whatever you know we don't we don't treat anybody differently or you know special them than how we want to be treated or whatever you know we just treat everybody how we want to be treated whenever it's our birthday you know and so you know she um she has her own ways of doing things. I don't know. It's weird. Can't really go in detail, but, but my mom has been the same way for years. Lord Jesus. Did I put oil in it? Yeah, I did. Anyways, so I guess I'll tell you guys what I'm doing because, well, for my business. I wasn't going to say anything until I figured out everything. But, you know, it's a business, and I just want to make sure everything's right. I haven't really told the public, but I guess y'all are the, are the public, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Should I tell y'all or should I wait? Because I finally figured out my main ingredient as to what I'm going to need for the whole entire thing. So, I figured that out. I'm just I'm just in the process of doing my website, the Instagram, thank you cards, all that stuff. I want to have it all done before I, before I lunch because it's, that's just who I am and what I do. I want to have everything done or whatever. So 
My hair's oiled. We don't need to tie this. So my pillow on me fully. Um. Okay, so let me just tell you guys. So I'm going to start a candle line, okay? A candle business. I'm going to make candles, okay? So there you have it. <laughs> so I'm testing out candles, testing out wicks, testing out jars, testing out scents, so much stuff that I didn't think of that I would actually need to do or have to do just to do a candle line. Y'all know I love candles. Well, I don't know if y'all are not, but... I love candles. I'm just so tired of buying candles all the time. So I was in my niece's room one day and she lit a candle and I was like, you know, why not I just throw my candle on? So I can have my forever supply of candles in my home that I'm designing with my own name. Um, I'm not going to tell you the company name just yet, even though it's already there. It's already legally mine. It's already um, LLC'd. I got that done on October 21st. Um, I only have to do a few more things, which is set up my business bank account and um, get my seller's permit or license in Texas. So I have to do those two things for sure, like in a minute, well, soon, before I start selling for sure. And then I have to find my license. Like my license just vanished out of my lunchbox i was at work one day and i knew they were in there because i just felt them when i put in my other card in my lunchbox and so now they're gone so i'm gonna have to order those again probably today or monday so i can get those in the mail so i can have my driver license but yeah that's the tea so let's go ahead and go make some candles before i make up my bed no let's go to the bed first and then we'll go to candles okay <laughs> The blanket. Why is it on you guys yellow? This is probably my light sets here. So let's all oh, go for cool. Cool, okay. You have to waste it. That's it. What are we gonna do? really cute packaging too. It's by Pendleton from Costco. So in case you're wondering. I got it king size because that's what this lady recommended. If, if you have a king size, she said get it King, if you have a queen size bed, get a king size so you can hang. I was like, I never thought about that. I'm so glad I did though. It's so sweet. You like it? Tone is that? So sweet. Now, I was going to wash this blanket before I put it on my bed, but my washer is entirely too small. So, and that's why my sheet is wrinkled because my, my, washer, my washer is so small. But I'm gonna take it off the a laundry mat whenever I wash it. So, and also I'm gonna get pillows, pillowcases to match. Don't worry about that. It's paint my forward. I don't want it to be hanging on the floor, but that's that's okay. But yeah, that's it. I'm excited. One. It's like two sided, so it's cool. Let me give you guys a close up. Well, should I have turned the weight? I think I'm gonna turn it around. I think I have it wrong. Let me see. I have it wrong. Yeah. So it's like, it's gonna be hanging like that. Now it's, now it's all staticky. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's even. 
that's hanging more. Now it's hanging on the on the front. Now it's hanging on the front. The other sides. I don't know that. It's like too big. This is huge. My bed. It's huge. Like I don't know how I'll make it up. <laughs> That's fine. Ugh. It's huge. Super huge. This is cool. Okay, let me give you guys a close up. Okay, so this how it looks close up. It's so warm and toasty. I love it. It's like two tone, two sided, two sided. That pillow is gonna stay the color it is. If not, I'll get a new one, like a new satin one or something like that. I'm gonna get probably white pillowcases for those and I'm gonna get furry pillowcases for those to match the fur on the blanket. Sorry if I'm, if I'm out of breath because I'm trying to open up my curtains and it fell two times. Uh oh, so I'm out of breath, but um, yeah, that's a blanket and so I'm going to get my two, hopefully, my two furry blankets from Five and Below. I've seen those there. Well, somebody did a haul on YouTube, so I watched her videos. And she said they had furry, uh, furry um, pillowcases for the holidays because her theme was a cozy um, theme for her uh, Christmas decor. So she wanted to get some a pillow covers for her, I think pillows for her couch or something like that. And so she went to find below and they had some there. So I wanna go check that out today actually. I wanna go there and then I want to go get me a um a car mount for my phone to go on. And then I want to go get me um a shirt to wear tonight to the dinner. But I don't know, I might just see what I have in my closet wash that and put it on you know and just save money you know um but yeah let's go ahead and get the kennels made so you can guys see the process and they take about 48 hours to cure so yeah let's go to make candles now you guys these sheets i'm going to put these in the trash because they're like stained already and the blanket my mom wants so I'm gonna give that to her and the pillowcases. I'm gonna give them to her. She said she wanted beige is like her favorite color, so she wants the blanket and the pillows. So I'm gonna give it to her for her birthday. And that's trash too. I have more water coming on the second, so thank God, because I'm down to like two of those, and this is almost over with, so. So as far as water goes, I've been drinking at least, oh, I got this thing. Hold on. I've been drinking water at least five 16 ounce cups a day. So I should have drunk one when I got home, because on my phone, I have one set for I have a timer set for six, eight, 10, and 12, two, four, six. So in 12 hours, I'm supposed to drink all of my water. Um, some days I do and some days I don't. Um, but I wanna get back in a routine. I just get me a plastic cup like this. And I have, I take um, Smarty organic pre vitamins just i'm not pregnant i'm trying to get pregnant at all uh, i'm just i take these for my health because my body functions really good on these so i take these every morning when i get home so we're gonna take these and then i also um also drink chlorophyll i'm not sure if you guys know what this is but in the book that I showed you guys on the last vlog, it suggested that you drink this every day on the back. And also, it, I don't know if you guys know um, Quinafia or Quinafua. 
if you look her up she's all about holistic health and getting her body in in tune and order so i shouldn't even really be taking these which i probably won't take these today I'll probably put them in the cabinet because you, you can eat certain foods and your body can get ready for whatever and get rid of whatever you have when i tell you that our bodies is a self-healing organ it's a self healing organ the same way babies come out and our body come back to order the same way they got they get rid of every disease you ever think you, of i'm not gonna say the names i'm not gonna name anything but you know what these are and you know that it can be cured by what you put in your body that's all i'm gonna say y'all seen the page look up the people and you will see what i'm talking about so i'm just gonna do some of this today and drink my First cup of water. So it's full with water. So with this thing here, I just fill up my this has turned into my drinking cup y'all this is gonna be a long vlog oh my god but anyways it's okay so okay so usually when i get home i set out my cup of water because i don't like cold water i hate cold water because my teeth are very sensitive so i just i sit it out for about 15 minutes to hour and then it's like room temperature it's like perfect i can throw it down so this here would technically be my third cup of water this is a one cup scoop for a scooper but i use it for my um for this because i don't have anything smaller for it so what I do is I take my, it's broken, but hopefully I can, you know, it's not going to work. So I'm going to take my teaspoon and I'm going to put it in my water. And I need some more. So I'm going to go buy some of this probably off the line, off Amazon. Off Amazon, it's, I think it's cheaper, but in the stores, I, this cost me like $11 or $12. Or something like that but i've been having this ever since like right before right no yeah right before the pandemic well right before they shut everything down that's when i got this probably back in march probably or probably february one or two is when i got this right here so yeah so i shake it up a little bit and it is green it's very potent and in the books it pushes you to eat and drink anything green and you guys notice i haven't ate anything yet because you're not supposed to eat any foods until noon time well one book says between 12 and 2 then the other book says 12 dr sabi says 12 and queen of food says 12 so i'm gonna say 12 so but i, I probably won't eat much because i want to save my appetite for tonight on um, tonight i'm not sure what i'm gonna get uh it's it it's a seafood thing so i might just get like a salad and fries because that's what i normally get whenever i go out with people so especially like when you know your body and you know the difference in your body like you don't um you don't really do those certain things anymore because you have you have a, a a guilty conscience and it comes to you pretty fast so you you know won't do what you always did but you know it takes you to open up to that eye if you're ready for that if you're not then you won't open up to it so it's a whole cup it's a whole um spoon here i'm just gonna stir it in it tells you to take 15 milliliters i have a shot glass which i what i would um which is what I would use, but I use that for my uh, scents for my candles now. So um, I have to find them. So I'm just gonna put that in there, stir it up, and I'm gonna need more of this probably in the next couple of days. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy some more because this it's like right here now. 
I've been having this for a while. Well, it's like right here. So probably another week. So I'm gonna drink it. Okay, so that's done. Sorry, I have incense sitting here. So also, this flavor is mint. This stuff here helps with body odor, bloating, um, bad breath. It helps with like sweat, uh, you know, if you sweat a lot and you take this, like, you, like if, if you have armpit sweating, it will decrease that. Um, it will decrease, de <clears throat> it will decrease body odors in the inside. Like you will pee out the, the fumes. You will smell it in your pee. Um, it clears up your face, like acne, it clears that up because this here, this stuff, it actually, um, it feeds your cells. It gives your cells life. I don't really know if you know anything about your cells, but your cell, your cells are your, um, building block of, like, of your whole entire body. And this stuff actually, um, look at my hands, y'all. It's very, very so guys, so what I was saying was that um, chlorophyll is like super potent, it's really, really green. So it's, um, it will stain your hands green. So be careful whenever you use it. But right now I'm making candles, let me show you. So I have the wax in there. It's almost done melting. So I have to get this to 180 before I add the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil I'm using today is, where is it? Just had it. Um, what is the fragrance oil I'm using to? Y'all, I forgot the scent I was going to use. What scent is this? What scent was this? It's for my mom. You know what? It's a plum. I think it's a cashmere plum. Yeah. It's cashmere plum. No, it's no, It's right here. This is right there. Y'all, what is the scent? I'm so lost right now. Anyway, it's what she getting. But it smells so bomb. So bomb. What was the fragrance, y'all? That's why they told us to write everything down. Like, I don't even know where the bottle is. Like, where is the bottle? Is it in my room? Well, let me come back to you guys a little bit later. So the flavor is mango coconut milk. I found it. I put it in the trash. Yeah. But it smells so good. It's so I smell the mango. I smell the coconut. It's a really good blend. It's gonna be it's gonna be legit, you guys. I'm excited. The best thing I like about making candles is because I can smell all the scents and make any scent I want. Y'all. I'm blue. Okay, so I made two candles and I made four wax melts. They're not all even, but that's kind of sort of what we're gonna come out to get out of this amount.